Hello to all you game gurus out there. How you doing guys? My name's Danny. I'm from Pipebox Media. Uh, you may remember me from the uh, FPS creator scene. I was on it for quite some time. Um, I also made a product uh, called Inter FPSC. Some of you guys may remember that. Uh, and it was basically a game launcher um, and a pack of software for FPS creator. Um, 9 and 10, it works for both versions, uh, but that was a long time ago and I'm back and I'm here to show you uh, the new software uh, which is uh, called uh, the Game Launcher Creator. Now the Game Launcher Creator is um, a standalone software product that allows you to create game launchers for any types of game from any type of game engine or authoring tool uh, and Game Guru uh, is especially uh, close to my heart because it stems from uh, obviously FPS Creator, which uh, Game Launcher Creator is compatible for also. Uh, but I'm just going to show you right now uh, in this video how you can um, quickly put together uh, your very own um, Game Launcher with uh, the Game Launcher Creator. Uh, so as you can see, I've got uh, a layout here which I've designed in uh, fireworks uh, you can do this from photoshop or illustrator whatever it is that you want to use uh, to do your design as you can see everything's layered so i can move it about and stuff but for now it's just an image um, so the way that the game launcher creator works is uh, you bring all your assets in individually so you can uh, choose which ones are going to be individual to bring in to uh, the game launcher creator uh, and you can design your game launcher in real time so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to open up um, game launcher creator so i'm going to run it side by side so we can see how we can put all this together so when it first launches uh, you'll be presented with uh, a lot of uh, templates that come uh, in as default uh, that you can modify if you wish but for this tutorial video i'm going to show you how we can do this manually so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the blank template so we can work from uh, the blank template uh, and let's give our game a name so obviously I'm just for this uh, demo I'm just going to use the big escape which is one of the uh, uh, the demo projects for uh, game guru so you type in the name of your game here and you uh, simply click on a uh, new project after you've selected your template and what uh, the game launcher creator will do is it will create a, a temporary folder for you in your app data folder for you to work on your game launcher so this is the game launcher here um, so it's pretty much straightforward for me and what you would do is first of all you look at your launcher properties and you can see this is a real-time window so you can edit and modify your game launcher in real time uh, there's a whole host of options on here uh, you can check out the documentation on the website if you need to know what anything in particular does uh, or anything that I don't cover in this video uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back to here. Uh, I'm going to get up the dimensions of this window. So we're looking at 800 by 500. So I can flick back here and I can do that in here. So I can specify 800 by 500. Click apply and we get the correct width for our uh, game launcher. So let's give our game launcher a title. So we'll just call it the big escape game. Uh, minimize and close buttons will keep them on at least for now anyway we'll see what it looks like uh, right so what do I need to take out of here element wise well um, the only things that are going to be interactive really are the three buttons which is play website and update uh, so the rest of it can pretty much just go in as it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them just like that uh, I also need to drop in um, the background as well as you can see it's a lot bigger than the actual canvas size there we go so I'll just realign that up drop it to the bottom layer uh, and something like that that'll do for now I can just drag it to where I get that tree out of the game guru logo there we go so as you can see you can design it uh, to look however you want uh, so I'm going to use JPEG I'm going to export these as JPEGs uh, so what I can do is I can just simply click on export now what I would recommend that you do here is um, all the project files are sent to your app data folder and you can really act, really easy access your app data folder here just by typing in the percentage sign and typing in app data and then percentage sign and if you hit enter it'll bring up your uh, app data folder so as you scroll down uh, if you go to m4d as you can see here if you go into m4d and then splash you'll see that there's a folder created for um, 
for a game, the big escape. There we go. So if we go inside there, now you'll notice that um, it, you have a data folder here. Don't bother putting your images in there. Just drop them in the main bit here. So I'm just going to literally call this backdrop. And what this enables me to do now is uh, insert that um, image. Now, because it's just a background image, I don't have to go to insert objects and insert an actual image. What I can do on the right hand side here for the launch properties is just select use background image. So then what I can do is click on load and that this again will bring up uh, your app data folder. Go to the big escape and select the backdrop. Right, click apply and there we go. So we have it in. Now, you these images can be anywhere on your computer. You don't have to use the app data folder route the way I'm showing you. It's just a lot easier for this video if I keep everything organized. But it, you can insert images from anywhere on your computer. It's absolutely fine. Uh, we can choose to have uh, background music as well. I'm not going to bother with that for this tutorial. Um, and we can have a splash screen as well. Maybe we'll chuck that in when we're done. So once we've got our backdrop in, that's our uh, main launcher backdrop done. I can now go to insert objects. And on the right hand side here, uh, you can see there's um, a few objects that we can insert. Uh, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to go through what I don't need to on this tutorial video. There's, there are other videos that you can check out uh, on the Backbox Media channel uh, and also on the Game Launcher Creator website as well for documentation and, and tutorials and things like that. Uh, but you'll notice that we have three buttons here. So we have play, website and update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the play element out. So we've got our play button here. Now as you can see it's like a yellowy colour. So what I'll do is I'll export that as a PNG. Because I want the background to be transparent. Um, and I'm going to call this play zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a hover effect. So I'm going to change that to white. So when the user hovers over it, it's going to change to white. And I'll call that play one. So now I'll switch back to the game creator launcher. Uh, and as you can see, we can insert a button. So we drop a button in and it creates a template button up here. We can drag this wherever we want. So once we've selected the button, uh, you'll notice that we have the properties for that button up here. So what I can do is I can select up and I can choose play zero. And I can then choose hover and then play one. It really is as easy as that. I can click on update and the button is now in the game launcher. Uh, so when I select this button, I can choose what I want it to do. Uh, well, I already have um, a, a, the default game built from uh, the game guru so which is here uh, so once you've built your game in game guru and you've exported it out as a standalone executable you'll be left with your executable file here so this is the game file default.exe uh, so all i do in my um, game launcher here is i simply type in default.exe so that is what's going to execute when the user clicks on the play button. Now there's a whole host of options that you can choose from for each of these objects. Uh, things such as do you want to close the launcher up on the action? So if this is checked then when the user clicks on play it will close the launcher and launch the game. Obviously if you uncheck that it'll still launch the game but this will continue running uh, in the background. Alright so that's the first button done. You can see how quick we've managed to do that. Uh, so the second button is for the website. So again, I'll export that as a PNG32 with alpha. Um, so I'm going to call it Web0. And then change it to white for the hover. And that will be Web1. Back to Game Launcher Creator. Insert a new button. Choose Website0 for the up. Website1 for the hover. Um, and for this time, we want it to go to a web page. So it's going to go to your website. So whatever your website is. So for this, I'm just going to type in gamelauncherCreator.com. Click on update. And there we go. We now have our website button in as well. Now you'll notice with the Game Launcher Creator, when you are editing a particular button, everything else fades out. Uh, and that's the only reason why uh, that is in the software is just to allow you to um, do pixel perfect precision with the... Uh, with the arrow keys on your keyboard just in case you need to but when you need to deselect you just right click anywhere and everything just goes back so we've got our play button and our website button in so our final button is updates it's got a built-in update checker for the game launcher creator as well uh, so again just going to update uh, export this update button so i'll call it up d zero change that to white 
and that can be up D1. Back to GLC, insert another button. So we've got uh, update 0 and update 1. And there we go. So, oops, put that back. And we'll drag this one over here. Round about there, something like that. All right, so when we select the update button, this time what we're going to do is we're going to select check for updates. Uh, we don't need to put anything in this box. Uh, we can simply click on update. And that is literally it. That is your game launcher created. So when the user clicks on play now, it's going to execute default.exe. Uh, when they click on website, it's going to send them to the website. And when they click on update, it's going to check for updates. So let's get around to the update. Uh, how does that work? So on the left here, you select built-in update. We need to click on include update and then click apply. Uh, and then what happens is you need to go through these three settings here. So, uh, as you can see, this at the minute says version.ini, change it to version.txt. So on your website, on your server, you would have um, a, a text file with a number in. So say this is the first release of your game. The, the number that's going to be in there, obviously, is going to be 1, because it's the first release. Um, and then you have a text file that accompanies the game launcher. And you would put that in with... Uh, the game itself so we can create that text file now just by going to new text document and typing in version and inside there we can type in one and save that so that'll go with because the, the game launcher is going to go in here as well you see um, and then so what you do is you type in the local file name which is version.txt um, you then type in uh, the um, URL for where the uh, version text file is on the server. So you, uh, so basically, when you release the second version, all you've got to do is update the number that's in here, and then the auto updater will pick up that the user has a lower version installed than what's on the server. So it'll say, "Do you want to update?" And when the user clicks yes to update, it'll automatically download the URL that you put in here. Okay, so we can click on apply for that. Um, and that is pretty much it. Obviously, there's plenty more options that you can play with in the Game Launcher Creator. Uh, plenty more objects that you can insert as well. Um, but when you go to Build Launcher, you can then specify your file name. So we're going to call this uh, The Big Escape. And then just simply click on Build Launcher. And Game Launcher Creator will build that launcher for you. Once that's done, it'll pop up with the folder automatically with the files in. There we go. Uh, so what we can do is you can see inside the data folder everything that's needed for the launch is already in there. So what we can do is we can copy these files over to where our game launcher creator game is. Uh, sorry, the uh, game guru game is. And paste that in. And it's really as simple as that. So now you have a new folder called data and the actual launcher game. Uh, which is called uh, TB Escape. So what we can do is we can run that now. But before I run that, I just want to show you how we can quickly create a splash screen. So w what we can do is select Insert Splash Screen on the Launcher Properties. And then we can just simply get... Uh, let's get this image from the back of this. So we'll do 600 by 600. And we'll just do that. And we'll just export this as a JPEG. Obviously, you're going to make yours look a little bit fancier. I'm just going to call that Splash. And back over to the Game Launcher Creator, I can now choose this image. So I'll choose Splash. And then click Apply. And then Build Launcher. So let's just uh, rebuild that again. TB Escape. You don't have to put .exe on the end. Game Launcher Creator will do that for you. So as you can see, it's building that up. It's going to show us the folder. We can copy them files now over to here and overwrite everything. Replace. And that's it. That's done. So when I now run tbescape.exe, it's going to launch the game launcher. As you can see, everything works uh, just as it should. So when I click on website, it's going to take you to the website that was in the URL. Just like that. Uh, now it's also shut down the game launcher and that's because of this setting here um, close application upon uh, action so we can uncheck that for the future one uh, but let's just go back and run the launcher again 
Uh, I'm not going to click update on this because obviously it won't work with the settings that I've put in uh, for the update. Uh, we're always building up data, so obviously, but it will work when you come around to do yours. Uh, and obviously, when I click on play, which I don't really want to do because it's going to launch the the game itself, um, it'll launch the game as well. So you can see there's uh, how easy and how fast that was to put together a game launcher for your game uh, made in Game Guru. Uh, and there's a whole host of other options and objects that you can put in, such as server images, so you can have real time images coming from the server. Um, and um, dynamic strings that come from servers as well and all this is useful because you don't have to keep updating the updater you can update the updater from your web server such as server images uh, and dynamic text from PHP queries there's a lot of you can play about with video music uh, text strings buttons and images and, and all the rest of it but all the documentation is on the website I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a quick overview, and I really, I was really keen to get this going uh, for Game Guru and and just show people how easy it is with the Game Launcher Creator to uh, create your own um, game launchers for your Game Guru games.